Dev here, your spiritual cheerleader and mentor. Welcome to Greatest Jesus in Me YouTube channel. And you know what to do. Subscribe now. And friends, go and grab your Bibles. Yes, grab your Bibles. And as I always say, the good thing about this, you can stop the recording, go and grab your Bible, and we can get to reading God's Word. I'd like to share with you that uh, when my mother was alive, one of the things I looked forward to every Sunday was talking with her. And one of the things we would do is we would take time and read the Bible. And it so happens that some of her favorite scriptures were also my same favorite scriptures. And we just loved reading God's word and talking about it. So um, I'm going to be doing the same with you. And that's what I have been doing with you. So today, what we're going to be reading is Psalm 121. You ready? Let's get right into it. And as I always tell you, make it personal. Make it relevant to your situation. Own it. Let God's word speak to your heart and to your situation. And let it work in your life. And you will see miracles in your life. So let's start reading from chapter, uh, again, chapter 121 this is psalm 121 and we're going to start reading from verse 1. i look up to the mountains does my help come from there my help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth isn't that reassuring that our help your help and my help comes from the Lord, our maker, the one who made heaven and earth. That is powerful. That is so reassuring. That is comforting. Yes. Let's go to verse number three. He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. God is telling us, that he will not let you, he will not let me stumble. Yes, we go through things in life, but he is telling us that we will not stumble. He and two, he watches over you and he does not slumber. Verse number four, indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. God is watching over us 24 seven. He's not like us, like have to, that we have to go to bed. We have to sleep. We need six, eight hours to, to, um, to refresh, to regain our energy so that we can start our day and get through the day. God is watching 24 seven because he never sleeps. Imagine when you're sleeping, he's right there watching over you. When you're at work, he's right there watching over you. When you are in your car, he's right there watching over you. It doesn't matter where you are. God is always watching over you. Verse number five. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. What more do you want? He's saying it right here. He watches over you. He stands beside you. That means that when you are going to a doctor's appointment, he's right beside you. When you are going through any treatment, he's right there beside you. When you are going through a surgery, he's right there beside you. When you are taking an exam that, that you were studying all night, you stayed up all night, and you are anxious and nervous, when you are sitting there taking the exam, he's right there next to you. When you are at work with your co-workers, he's right there next to you. It does not matter where you are. Guess what? 
God is right there beside you. He said it, I'll never leave you or forsake you. And you need to take God's word seriously because he means it. He's beside you. And I know this from experience because I know that it does not matter where I am. I'm in my car. God is right there beside me. I hear his voice speaking to me, guiding me, directing me, giving me wisdom. And I know he's doing the same thing for you. Verse number six. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon at night. These are all God's promises. He's saying the sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon at night. Verse number seven. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. You know what is your life? From the time you were in your mama's womb till now, that is your life and beyond until you die. It says God is watching over your life. Isn't that reassuring? Is, isn't that powerful to know that the Lord who made heaven and earth and made you and I is watching over our lives forever. Okay? And then it says here, the Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. I just said it, forever. And this is one of the verses I remember was one of my mom's favorite verse. Anytime people and old folks would always use this verse. Anytime you're leaving home, they'll tell you the Lord, the Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go. That means once you go through those doors, you know, what, you know, while you're in your house, he's watching you. When you go through those doors, he's watching you. When you get into your car, he's watching you. While you're driving, he's watching you. When you get out of your car, he's watching you. Wherever you are going, whether you're going grocery shopping uh, to the mall, to work, wherever you are going, it says, God keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. Let God's word speak to you. Stand on his word firmly and make it personal. Believe God's word. Meditate on it. So friends, remember to go to Greatest Jesus in Me YouTube channel. And you know what to do. Subscribe now. Be blessed. And until next time.